Hey, welcome back. We are going through a MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate examination course. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this examination series. In this demonstration, I am going to teach you how to implement threat management for Microsoft Teams. So once deployed, Microsoft Teams will become the hub for organizational collaboration, where multiple documents will be shared and accessed. Therefore, you must ensure that all documents that are used and shared within your Microsoft Teams are protected from potential threats, such as malware. Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection helps your organization protect against malicious threat which may be posted by email messages, links, as well as through your collaboration tools you are using. It includes threat protection policies, reports, threat investigation, and response capabilities as well. To configure and assign ATP policies, you must have one of the following roles. You need to have either Office 365 Global Administrator or security administrator. So I am in my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. To access security portal, all I have to do is either go to security.microsoft.com or I can click on this Admin Center. It takes me to security.microsoft.com as well. So once I'm in my security portal, this is a one-stop shop for all sort of security policies. I can define DLP policies, information governance, threat management, app search, policies, etc. A lot of things I can do over here. So what we are after is we are going to select a policy and then select an ATP safe attachment. So I'm going to go under threat management, click on policy. And you can find ATP safe attachment policy over here. So turn on ATP safe attachment policy. And this is where I can turn on ATP for SharePoint, OneDrive and Microsoft Teams. Once I do that, ATP is going to protect all the information within your SharePoint, OneDrive and Teams. Uh, you can create a new policy or you can basically modify an existing policy as well. So how does ATP work? So Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection provides the users within your company with safe environment. So Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection provides the users within your company with a safe environment for collaboration and communication and helps the malicious files to be detected and blocked in team site and document libraries. If a document that is stored in Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive Business has been identified as malicious, ATP directly work with the file stores to lock that files. Even though the user can still see the blocked file in the document library and web, mobile, and desktop application, it cannot be opened, copied, moved, or shared. However, the malicious files can be deleted. Now that we have learned about how the ATP work and how to implement ATP, let's go and see the next video on how can you use security reports and alerts for Microsoft Teams. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.